welcome back everybody tabuk here and here hope everybody's fine so today i'm gonna report these um two beauties this is cotton and this is sting of ray so i got this um last month start of june um from online um baby shop so it was a baby it's still a baby but it got this new leaf um it gave me this leaf and i was really happy about it um, I'm gonna repot it and the first reason I can see some roots and it's still in the nursery pot and the second reason is that this pot dries out very quickly within two days and um, I'm going away for a few days so I'm, I'm gonna put it in a pot where it will not dry out quickly once I will water it almost it, it can spend a week without water and also this uh, this beauty croton uh, this is you can see it's uh, root bound and I just want to repot it also it's in a very small pot still in the nursery pot so I just want to take it out and uh, let's see the root system here so the roots here are like uh, sorry I watered it yesterday I didn't know like, I'm going to repot it today but today is the time to repot because I'm not doing anything else so you can see the root system there so I'm not going to mess it mess a lot with root system so I'm going to leave it here I'm going to use these two parts I'm going to go two sides up usually I go just one size up but I'm going to put in this because I just want to keep it like moist longer when I'm away um, these parts are, not, are dirty so I'm going to clean them first and then I'm going to show you how to repot and I'm going to use this um, a fertilizer uh, I'm just gonna try usually I use my own where I mix the cocoa coir and perlite and some orchid bark um, I'm not gonna put our, our orchid, bark, orchid bark in here in these two because they don't need it uh, this compost I'm gonna use it first time and this is I can see it's cocoa coir uh, yeah more mainly and there's something something else added in it but there's no nothing there f for drainage so i'm gonna add perlite in it so i'm gonna add i'm gonna use 50 percent of this um almost 40 percent of my cocoa and cocoa coir and then like 10 percent this to add more drainage because i'm using um big pots so i'm gonna be careful if i water too much so uh give me a i'm gonna show you how i do it so first I need to wash these two pots. Okay, so I'm gonna use, as I told you, 50% of, because these are very small pots, and they already got some soil, so I'm gonna use that soil as well. Oh, that for, it's quite windy. 50% uh, of this. So I use 50% of that um, fertilizer or compost, which I've shown, not fertilizer, so you guys, compost which I've shown you. Um, and almost 40% of cocoa, which is my own, and I'm mixing it, mix it, and then just use my hands, mix it almost, because I'm going to add more drainage um, to it, make more, so perlite, um, perlite gives drainage to the soil, and adds more oxygen and also helps water to flow quite easily. So the compost is just mix it properly. I'm gonna use some water. Um, I'm gonna use some water. So where is the glass gone? Come on. So this is the rain water I'm using. I collected yesterday. It rained heavily here. So I like to use rain water sometimes for my plants if it's available. If I collected it so now I'm gonna mix it properly and then once it's mixed I'm not using any gloves because I like it this way um it's all clean soil so first of all I'm gonna do repot the croton so I just very delicately it's gonna separate because it's quite a root bound so just gonna separate from the water and it's very windy my nursery pot going away so you guys it's very windy so i don't like windy weather and plants they also don't like it so yeah i don't want to damage the root system much but just literally give it a bit of uh, 
yeah hands on and yeah that's it so I'm not gonna touch it more um, I don't so, put the plant here now first I'll put some soil at the bottom so yeah so you can see at the bottom of the pot and now put in there and just fill the pot fill the sides yes fill it as much as possible yes so press it gently yes so I'm not gonna fill it up to the ends because sometimes when you water these burn light they rain light they come out that's it okay so my stingray I'm just very delicately just want to separate the roots um, so that they can find the way usually they find the way in the soil but this is um, they will find it quickly uh, I love this beauty um, there's dirt everywhere but I'll clean it later so I don't know if the soil is too okay for it I have to make some more soil but that's how I'm gonna do it so I'll show you what I did at the end okay pause I'm gonna add this. I've made some more uh, compost, and I put more perlite in this one because stingray really they need well-drained soil. So it's done, all done. I'm gonna clean them later, and then I'll give you update about their growth in uh, next video. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. I'm gonna wash them later. Uh, I love that because it's good for the plants so please subscribe my channel and give me some comments if you like okay thank you bye